Roxel, Georgia, am I right? Uh, North Roxelina. Roxelina Sea. Roxel, Virginia. West Roxel, Virginia. Roxeland, am I right? Roxylvania, more like Ransylvania. New Roxy! I'm in a new rocks state of mind. Canetta Rocks. Rocks, what you said. The Rocks. Rocks. <laughs> in the rain yesterday. We're trying to dry her. She's trying to be dried off in the sun. All right, here's Barnacle drying in a different way. <laughs> Today she's having a little more fun than yesterday. You're glowing. Like, you're full body. It's weird. So we're about to enter the um, Mahusik Notch, which is pretty famous. People call it the hardest mile on the AT. People have been talking about it to us all day and we're getting really hyped. So we are about to start Mahusik Notch. As we were coming down, someone told us that it was going to be air conditioned, quote unquote. Um, I'm like, we just turned this corner and it actually is like a lot cooler right here. I saw these amazing caves. And it's so cool down here. Like it's, it's, the, it, the temperature's cooler. Whoa. These rocks are freezing cold. Here's Coyote. Yeah? Today is July 9th or something? July 9th, we're in Mahusik Notch, and there's ice on the ground. Climb right here, coming out of the cave. Okay, we're done with the Mahusik Notch. What was our time? It was 10, 10, or sorry, 1, 10, 45. An hour and 10 minutes? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was actually pretty fast then. Yeah, pretty good. That's fine. We're gonna go to an Airbnb with the Kiwi Girls and we don't know what it's gonna be like, but I'm hoping it has in-unit laundry. The past three days, which is from Pinkham Notch to Grafton Notch, have been, in my eyes, the three hardest days of hiking of my whole life. Yesterday, it was just pouring rain. Um, and all afternoon, thunderstorms, and we were on ridges. It was really scary, and it was also really tough hiking. The trail sometimes was a stream that was knee deep and like white water, and it was just like generally horrible. The day before that was the Wildcats and the Carters, which are mountains, and they're really, really amazingly hard, and it was really hot for those times. And then today, we did, uh, we did Mahusik Notch and Mahusik Arm, yeah, and we did 220s. So we did that whole section in three days. We did 13, 20, 20. Huge storm system coming up the east coast and it's hitting us today. Um, 
and also over the overnight. So we're really hoping to be able to get shelter space. And it looks like it's just going to be raining on us all day. So it's going to be kind of unpleasant, but just another day in Maine. Definitely struggling on trail right now. It's not fun. It's raining and it's just predicted to rain all week again. And it's been predicting to rain all week for weeks. And weeks since we like got into Vermont and we're really tired and worried that we're gonna have thunder again. We have 250 miles left of the whole trail and it feels like so much. How close? Like right next to us. We heard this loud crash behind us and looked over and a tree had fallen probably only about 15 feet away from us. And literally like the scariest thing about it for me was that it happened so fast. And I was just like, if that tree had been trying to land on us, like we would have had no warning. No warning. We would have just been squished. <laughs> just squished. And it was literally only 15, uh, 15 feet away. It was so scary and out of nowhere. And I did not like it. But it was also kind of cool to see. This incessant rain is just weakening all the ground and making it hard for the roots to hold on. And I've cried now. like seven times today. Yeah. I cried even before I got on trail. I was just, it's a really tough day. It's a tough day. Careful. We are 0.6 away from Bema Stream, which is this river that everyone has been fear-mongering us about since yesterday. Been seeing all these actual children who are hiking south, and it seems like they all just crossed it. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, this is Bemis Creek. This is the one that was fear-mongered a lot. Yeah, Coyote's doing the hard part. I'm in the uh, a lot easier part. I'm in the, it doesn't even matter part right now. As soon as she hits this rock in front of her, she'll be good. in response to? A new thing. A new set bad? I lost mine. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
there, we just, there's one there, there's one there, right there. I'm actually going to put my leg in real quick. What? For the leeches? There's two in there, but there are others just sort of swimming around everywhere. That would be terrifying. Oh, I can't help her. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a tiny one. You're gonna get leeches. You can't feel them, by the way. They're, they numb you. We've been seeing moose prints, and this this is one right here. Pretty well preserved. Pretty well preserved. It looks like kind of old. So we've just gone over Saddleback Ridge. We actually just got up to a mountain called The Horn. Um, but there's this amazing quote on gut hooks about it <laughs> uh, that radio is going to read for us. According to fake AT lore, the difficulty gap between northern and southern Maine was so immense that a spiritual bridge was erected in these mountains to join the vast divide. They say that hikers must climb onto the horse's saddle to prove their worth and traverse the treacherous bridge between north and south. The horse will carry Nobos into the magical lands of northern Maine, where they might catch a break from all the rocks. But Sobos may find themselves entering a haunted region with struggles all its own. not gonna come out but trails up there and it's really steep everybody is kind of just like really tired like not just me and radio but I think like everybody trails so hard right now and it just feels like perpetual and I know we only have like 13 days left so it should feel easy but it feels just like insurmountable it's like hard to want to keep hiking and to make it to Katahdin even though we're so close. It's like harder than ever. I haven't experienced these feelings. Like I never felt this way in Pennsylvania or Virginia or anywhere. And I never felt this way on the PCT either. I just feel it now. But I'm so close that I feel like I have to keep going. Because like we're so close. We're gonna hit 2,000 miles today. You know, for me, my peace is being inside and not being eaten by bugs and not looking at the weather and dreading what it's going to be like. And I want to be able to sleep in a bed. I want to be able to sleep next to you in a bed. Yeah. Inside. I'm listening to the radio outside.
for the first time in what feels like forever, we go this way, the flat trail, instead of up the steep, steep, steep trail. <laughs> it's such a gift. Oh, amazing. Mile 2000. We missed 1900, so that's pretty cool. Wow. 2,000 miles. How does it feel? I'm so tired. Yeah. I have mud on my legs and a bug on my legs. You also have mud on your legs and a bud on your legs. That's a bud. Yeah. Right. You think there's a Korok seed there? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.